What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Turtle Beach Recon, a wired controller. And we're also going to be comparing it to the Elite controller and see which one is better for your money. It's gonna be a super fun video. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, the price is definitely a bit different. This was about 200 bucks almost exactly. And this was closer to 70, I think it was about 63 bucks when I got it. Also, another thing I noticed is it's a lot lighter, which leads me to believe that it is not like completely metal like the Elite controller, which weighs like a pound and a half or something like that. But that makes sense. It's not 200 bucks. It's not extremely durable. But let's open it up and see what's inside of it. So, I'm guessing that this is the instructions. Yeah, so, there's a whole cheat sheet thing on this about all the controller combinations. More about that in a second. Yeah, here's the whole controller manual, warranty. Oh, cool little sticker. Add that to my sticker collection of like everything I've bought. Because apparently everything has a sticker. Yeah, so there's the whole guide. I'll check that in about a second. Um, all right, it is, here's the wire for it. It is a wire only controller. This is not a wireless controller in any way. I think it is, a, yes, it is a 10 foot USB-C cable that plugs directly into the back of this. All right, so we got our first look at the controller. Let's see if I can get it out without breaking it. Okay, so here's the controller itself. It's got this little control panel on the top. I'll get into that in a second. It's little volume controls. Um, an eight-way D-pad that is plastic and I don't think it is removable. There's a audio port right here and two paddles on the back, just like the Elite Controller, except the Elite Controller is four. This one feels very nice. It has that little extra thing on it, so I think it is a little bit bigger than the Elite Controller in size. Yeah, but not by much. All right, so side-by-side -side comparison, it is definitely... I don't know, cheaper is probably the right word. It's definitely plastic compared to metal. But yeah, so the Elite controller has like the removable pieces, you know, they're all metal. Like, yeah, as you can tell from when I just dropped that, it's definitely metal. And it has the removable um, eight-way D-pad, the four-way D-pad, all the hair trigger things. It has the rechargeable battery on the back and it is also wireless. It also has the four pedals on the back instead of just the two and the trigger differences now here so you can make it like just click a little bit faster uh everything else is just a little bit smoother and then interchangeable thumbsticks i think i mentioned that already but got all that stuff yes it is also a USB C. um uh this thing is not rechargeable battery it is a wired only controller it's got the stickers, it's also got the two paddles on the back. The, right here, as you can see. It has actually a little bit of grip right here. Definitely not as much as the Elite controller, but still enough that you can definitely feel it. The joysticks are plastic, but still feel pretty nice. Um, the triggers do not have the locks, but they feel very interesting. They have more grips on them, just like that. And it has different modes. Uh, I'll have to figure that out in just a second. There's a volume. I think you can turn up the chat controller. This is made specifically for Xbox, just like the Xbox Elite controller. So it'll probably integrate fairly well. It also has the eight-way D-pad, but it's not replaceable with the four-way. It has a little share button right here, so you can instantly take your clips and upload them. It has a little mute button right here, so this is basically like, um, Let's see, there was that thing you could plug in the bottom of your controller that like goes right here, you know, your extra headset controller right here. This basically has that, but on the top of it instead of the bottom. 
Also, the home button feels a little bit different. A lot of wire controllers have this button that goes in a fair amount, as you can see, like that. But the Elite controller just has a simple click. It also has the preset button that you can change your presets to, all your button presets, which this controller does not have. Yeah, so that's most of it. Um, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that this also does not have a case just like this, which this case is pretty sick. It has a little carrying handle right here. And you can also has a little charging port in the back as you can see. Yeah, so that is a pretty fair overview of that. Now let's, I have exhausted pretty much everything about the Elite controller. Now let's see the cool things that this controller can do. Alright guys, uh, it took me a little while of reading this thing, but I think I finally figured out like all the, most of the things. I might have to check this every now and then. But, for the most part, what you do is you press this button, press mode to switch between mic monitoring, the equalizer, like the way things sound, uh, the way these two buttons work, and... Uh, this is like a weird sensitivity thing. And then when you're on one of those, you press this to switch in between one of four levels. So you can, so this is level four, so it's like louder and louder. And then, yeah, so that that's cool. And then when you switch to this, it's like normal sound, bass boosted, bass and treble boosted. And then I think the last one is like, I don't know what to call it. I, I'm gonna have to check this. Let's see. Got it. Found it. All right, here we go. Yeah, so signature sound, bass boosted. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. Bass and treble boost, and then vocal boost, so it makes like vocals sound a little bit louder. And then this switches between the. Uh, four profiles so instead of the elite controller only having three it has four profiles then this is like changes the sensitivity and stuff i probably won't mess with the sensitivity too much my sensitivity is pretty chill um yeah so it's really it's actually really interesting how this thing works and then there's the two volume controls like that this button controls the headset volume as you can see right here it turns up and down and then this thing controls the chat mixer. So the more I turn it that way, the more I'll hear my, like my party and the less I'll hear the game. I usually have it like right here. And then, then here's the mic monitoring. Probably gonna turn that up a little bit. But then it has this mute button, which turns the microphone on and off. And then this really uh, interesting thing, I think it kind of just boosts the treble. It doesn't show you, but when you turn that on, it like, makes it so you can just hear footsteps and stuff better. I don't really know how that works. So uh, yeah, you'll see me using this in a few future videos and we'll see how that goes, if that'll actually help. But anyway, this controller looks super sick. I cannot wait to use it. It will be super fun to use. I plan to use it in a lot more of my videos. All right, I think that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I put a lot of work in these videos, so it makes me really happy to see you guys enjoying these. Make sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you have not done that yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.